for tuning in for the first half of sports. Tonight we headed down to the Hazleton area swimming pool where both the boys and girls water polo teams faced off with conference rival Wyoming Valley West. Seniors on both Hazleton area squads were honored tonight for their hard work throughout the year, and tonight was no different. We begin with the boys' match. Score is 1-1 in the first quarter. Number 21, Tyler Farley, gets the ball for the Cougars, passes it off to Ryan Paisley, who whizzes the ball in the net. Hazleton area up 2-1. The Cougars get the ball again. They shoot, but this time a big block by Wyoming Valley West goalkeeper. Moving to the second quarter, Rob Jacobs catches a long toss from the keeper with his goal he ties the match up at twos at the half hazelton area is down seven six but in period three with an assist from stefan kalanta farley shoots again scores and ties it up and in the fourth hazelton with a big comeback jeff hicks quick pass to farley he shoots and scores again hazelton area boys get the win 13 to 10. now moving to the girls matchup shelby sanko comes up with a steal in the first period she passes to Haley Kendall, who gets the assist after Alex Podlesi gets the goal. Lady Cougars up 1-0. Then goalkeeper for Hazleton shows off her arm, tossing a bomb way ahead to Kendall. Her first score of the night, 2-zip. After Nicole Halona of Wyoming Valley West gets her first goal of the night, the score is 2-1. Then Lady Sparm Brianna Galitz gets her hands on the ball and makes it look easy. Cougars still up 3-2. But from here, the Lady Cougars put on quite a show. Third period, I Isla Trisno has the ball in her hands, whips it to Felicia Grego. Goal, 11-13, Hazleton area. And in the fourth, Grego has no shot, passes it back to the top of the key, but she gets that ball right back and boom. Ball just out of reach for Wyoming Valley West. Hazleton wins the match, 16-8. After the win, we talk to senior Haley Kendall about the rivalry between the two schools. Oh, it's been like a, a sister and rival school with them. We, uh, to practice together and play each other at the same time so it was it was always a hot and cold kind of thing and senior Michaela Begg said she was sad to see her high school career ending it means the world to me this has been my life for the last four years it's been my family I've seen them every single day this is just a breathtaking moment <laughs> And earlier today, the Crestwood Lady Comets tennis team ended one of their most successful years. The semifinals and finals for District 2 championships were held at Kirby Park in Wilkes-Barre and Crestwood faced off with Williamsport in the semis. The Lady Millionaires just couldn't pull it off against the 12-1 Comets who had wins in second and third singles behind Brittany Stanton and Melanie Cobella. Crestwood also got the win in second doubles behind the team of Chrissy Perry and Kiana Thompson. The girls then met up with Abington Heights in the finals, but things did not fare so well there. All three single players lost to Abington Heights who took home the gold. We spoke to Crestwood head coach Scott Lino who after 15 years of coaching tennis said that this was one of the best seasons that he's coached throughout the years. That we've had these girls here have been together two or three years so that, that really helps develop uh, depth and you know, playing with each other, especially in doubles, it really helped us. So that's, I think, that's why we had a, a good season this year. And just an update, last week we told you about North Schuylkill golfer Justine Paul, who competed in state regionals today at Golden Oaks Golf Course in Fleetwood. Paul finished in a three-way for the eighth place, which was the last spot for qualification to the state tournament. So a three-way playoff was held, and unfortunately Paul lost by one shot on the second playoff hole. So close, we congratulate the junior on a great season, and we'll definitely keep an eye out for her next year. It was a busy first half, and the second will be no different. We'll have the score from the game of from game three of the ACLS where both A-Rod and Nick Swisher were benched for the Yanks so stick around Lisa's back next with your top story recaps